Hey everybody, I'm Tektos, and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing the Arden Mages on Impossible Difficulty, and I sound way more happy and energetic than I actually am. It's pretty early in the morning, and I am, what you call that, sleep deprived, but it's alright. I just couldn't stop playing, so uh, I guess I'm playing. Where was I now? We uh, wanted to research these ruins, and I think that will do it with the exploration. Because like I said in the beginning, like in episode 1, uh, strategy is going to be get a little less land, so only maybe uh, three provinces to start with, and develop those. Develop those tall instead of, uh, you know, get like 20 provinces. Not that I could do that anyway, but that is the strategy. And... Um, we do already have five minor faction villages in our empire. If we uh, settle in Lingue, it's gonna be pacified right away. Oh, that rhymes! Oh my god. I'm... Maybe I should start rapping. I don't know. So, uh, we'll have this. And uh, speaking of pacifying, how about we get started on these guys? I completely ignored you. Maybe you got some problems that you want to talk about. Find the monsters. Where's the lair? No. I'm just gonna... Cannot afford to use bribe, really. Well, F you then. I can also not afford to go over there. Oh, by the way, we probably will need... Yeah, we do need more. I forgot to uh, time my expansion with the, with the Empire plan, so now we need 40 in two turns, which means we're gonna have to produce 12 in two turns, it means we need one in six in one turn, which uh, which really sucks. But this will do it. Alright. But we'll also suck a lot if we have an empire if we don't have the economic empire plan, at least on level one. Because we're gonna use that dust uh, for the Hmm. Okay. Blah blah. Build two anomalies in your empire. Okay, we have that. Dust is also required to heal the Nidia warrior. Produce 51 dust per turn in one of your cities for five turns. Well, yeah, that probably won't. And there we go. So it's countdown to war with these frickers. Which is okay. We, we probably can take them. But uh, I'm really unprepared. So, uh, not quite sure how to handle that. And there's the first freaking snake crawling around. Uh, how about you bribe them now? There's really no way. There we go. And just auto fight that. Should be pretty easy. There we go. And back into the city you go. So, uh, now we're making nine. Influence, really don't need nine influence. Five is just enough. And then we get new population next turn, which means we could then do the settler thingy. Alright, get more signs output. And what to do with you? I think we'll bring him home, or them home, and just deal with these snakes here. Yeah. Take that turn. And now we got the 40, 40 influence for the Empire plan, which is gonna be here. Pretty cool, alright. And now we got one more pop. Empire Mint is good. Um, Tashi Zealot, huh? Well, we'll just have two of you in dust, I guess. Or we do it like this, because I want the public library fast, because uh, I also want the glass steel production to start. We do have a nice little um, reserve, but I need I need stuff. I need uh, to start producing these these zealots before the broken lords can actually become threatening. And I think they already are. Yep. Even though we got couple units gifted it's they're still stronger than us by uh, by quite a bit so you have to keep that in mind anyway anything else to do here no there's not 
Just hope we don't see a Broken Lord Settler creeping around here. I'm just gonna bank on the fact that they eventually will kill these guys, hopefully. Because um, it's more important to actually get these villages under control. As soon as we settle down here in Linguain, we're gonna have five pacified villages. Which then means we're actually one step further in our main quest. Alright, you guys here are pretty slow moving, but finally they're getting along. And now we're making some dust with that new empire plan. I like it, I like it. Alrighty. Hoping the uh, actually Broken Lords could take care of those guys. That wouldn't be too bad. And before we actually get the glass steel working, I think we need that settler. Mm. Probably like so and so. It's gonna be four turns and this is gonna be five turns. Oh, yeah, I think I'll take the five turns and the 29 dust per turn. Thank you very much. And now we should be in era. Yeah, there we go. Here two it is. Great, great, great. Okay, so uh, what do we need in next? Um, I don't really have a laid out plan just yet. We definitely want, not in this order, but we definitely want either the armor or the alloys. I think we're going to go for the armor first. Um, we want one of these two, sciences or the hydrology, just so we can amp up our production a little bit. So let's pick that for starters. Uh, we want the al alchemy workshop. We want the glory of the empire. Because I need to build up my influence to actually get the bigger influence, uh, the bigger empire plants. We probably want the market and the granary. So there's two. Um, that's already six. We want this. We want the Dust Purifier, giving us uh, more Arcana levels on our spells, which will make them stronger, obviously. And we want the uh, Imperial Highway. So this is pretty much it. We're uh, probably can't afford to squeeze in the Mercenary Market here. So how do we do this? And that is the order I want. Um... I think we'll start with the armor, because I have that feeling that the Broken Lords won't wait very long, and... Oh, we also need the Arcana of Authority. Damn. So I'll probably go these three first, and maybe Mercenary Market. Maybe. Not quite sure if we can get there, but we'll, we'll try. And uh, yeah, that, that should be it. So let's see if we can't buy out these efforts. And take care of these snakes. Six turns for a settler. Why six turns now? It was five turns. Stupid game. It was four turns actually if I put all of them in there. What happened? That's weird. Ah, uh, we only got well five more turns with the wine booster. That's all right. And we still have two boosters that we can fire before we settle. So uh, that is alright. We just need to get a move on, basically. Mm, Alchemical Armor is still two turns, so it's fine. We're not gonna reactivate. What the hell are you doing, bro? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, we can't afford to bribe them, but we could attack them. I think we'll do that. And I'm just... These guys have... Circular attack and the sweep strike back. So we're not gonna auto fight. We're gonna do this one. And they have more initiative. How far do they move? Two tiles. Okay. So... How about this setup? Two tiles, like so, maybe? Don't want to block my reinforcement tile here. That should be all right. Uh, they should go for this guy. One, two. One, two. I don't really know. 
But uh, this should be alright. And uh, let us... I don't know. So this guy probably goes here. Or maybe one, two attacks this here. And this one can one, two, maybe here. So I'm probably gonna go f this way. Probably. And the militia can go up there. And the rest of you just try and go for this one snake. Focus fire. Mm, of course. Of course. Well, at least we got that out of the way. Ow. That's one dead Arden Mages. I can already see that. Did I say one dead Arden Mages? I meant, uh, you know what I meant. These guys here. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can retreat them, but I highly, highly doubt that. And now it's just... Oh, they got the sweep strike back, though. But then again, they're they're gonna attack first, yeah. So it's fine. Should be fine, at least. Um, just go like this and this and this. Alright, because they don't have the, the extra counter, so now uh, the counter. So they now pick the worst possible target to attack. Which is uh, pretty nice. And now they're just dead. Go. Go, AI. I'm loving you. And I'll just finish their moves. And there we go. Now we have to rebuild this village, which is going to be a little bit more expensive. But uh, at least we dealt with it. And there's no more annoying spawners. Uh, we do have to rebuild it, though. So let's get around to do that just fast mm. yeah I think I'll go for that save one turn why not why not um, maybe gonna oh we can't sell these guys all right never mind then thought maybe I'm gonna sell the the damaged one because I don't need that many warlocks if we already um, if we're gonna assimilate the silix because then they are gonna be our blockers but uh, I guess it's fine. Three turns for the settler. Can we now? No, we can't. How about you? There's one turn. That is good. And the armor is going to be ready right about now. Very good. What the? What are you guys doing here? Well, I guess they're just passing through. I'm not thinking... At least I don't hope... They're uh, actually going to start pillaging my, my buildings. That would be really annoying. Uh, annoying and kind of unfair. Anyway, got to start that titanium building. And I guess I'll just keep them all here. Because uh, there's really no other tile I want to... Could try this one. 27 turns, though. That's kind of hardcore. Hmm. It's kind of hard to get. Not sure. Well, we'll leave it in there, because it's six turns until we get there anyway. But we'll, we'll see about that. All right, now this is five turns, and uh, we do... 2% and you cost what? 332 and we're making 77 per turn. Uh, okay. What is that? 332. Um, buy 77. Okay, so 300, hmm, how much would we need?
83. So we would need six more signs, which is what we'll get from this pillar of knowledge. So I'm going to buy one more. And uh, put you here. And we're down to four. There we go. Uh, I didn't calculate it in my head, by the way. I just uh, used a calculator laying around here. It's too early for that shit. So uh, that's my resolve. Alright. Little extra dust. I like that. Um, not gonna buy you out, probably. Yeah, probably this is better. Save some time. And we've got these creeps running around, but... Could we just handle them? Yeah, we could. Should be an easy auto fight. There we go. Back into the... Ah, oh, of course. One moving point short. But it's better to take care of these guys sooner rather than later, because uh, otherwise they're going to find something to pillage and just be annoying. Probably attack my settler. Mm, okay, that is uh, pretty clear that we failed that. And now we're out of wine, which means we're back to regular rolled approval levels. I'm going to fire the emeralds just to get too happy, because uh, that will increase our dust output a little bit. And I think we can fire them... Like, I could probably eventually afford five more emeralds to uh, get a second booster, and then we once we get Ling Wain, we can uh, fire the... Or before we get Ling Wain, we're going to fire the spices anyway. So uh, we should be good there. Now, let's take the new faster settler and bring you down. I think I took a look around. I think this here is probably the best possible. Why are you just passing through? Ah, freaking moron. What is this? Oh, whatever. Um, yeah. This here is probably the best spot for a settlement. It's not good. Nothing about this region is good except for the minor faction we get. So... I'll, uh, I'll have to take it. There's really nothing else to do about that. Um, glass steel in two, 39 turns. Oh, right, because we don't have that fervent happy-go-lucky bonus anymore. That is kind of sad. Mm, we got this, we got that, and then I think we'll go for the... Uh, for this year. Hydrology. The problem is the, the canal locks, it's such a good building. We can only build it once, but it's plus five per citizen on production, which really can boost our production. Um... Though we got a forest city here, we got a forest city there, and we're gonna damn sure have one here. Which is kind of an argument to actually get these management sciences. Because there's no... It's, it's all... It's also not winter dependent. Which is pretty great. Anyway, let's uh, actually retrofit a couple units. Uh, so how about you get that... That unsteady stick and get that. Excuse me. That improved damage here. And also. Don't really need this. I guess it's more health, so that, that's alright. But for the helmet, yeah, that's fine. Actually, the, the regular helmet is better. So here's our first. First, a zealot. Why can't I name you? Whatever. It's fine. Zealot's fine. Oh, because we didn't... Uh, right, right, right. And uh, for the warlocks, definitely want the sweep strike back claws. 
As for armor, I think we're just gonna go with the regular stuff. Because the extra initiative... Well, here we could use some glass steel, because uh, it's more health overall. And here's a little more defense, and most importantly... That ring, yeah, 70 damage. That is what I wanna see. And now we just need some... What would we need? 300, 8 and 16. Alright, that's, that's still affordable. Just need to have that titanium going. Alrighty, let's move you along a little bit. Okay, so we failed this one. I wonder why though. Probably the uh, Broken Lord should have actually dealt with that. Anyway, um, good. We're now rebuilding the Eryx. I think I want that. Why is that still one turn? That doesn't make sense. It was one turn, one turn ago. <laughs> I think I'll just take back my resources and go for a regular old Borough Street over here. That will make it so we can profit from our pillars a lot more, because we can uh, build a pillar here and here, uh, here and here, and it will actually cover one, two, three, four, five tiles, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Great, so we can overlap two pillars and well, improve our Fitzy output by quite a bit. Alright, so now maybe if I put you here, yeah, that's four turns now suddenly. Whatever, at least it's exactly four turns and not a fifth, because uh, one stupid tile's in the way. Well, that shall do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think we're making decent progress, though I'm quite scared of the declaration of war that's uh, definitely going to come from either the uh, these fuckers here, the uh, Broken Lords, or from the Draken. So... There's that, but we'll we'll see how it goes. I, I think we can take one. It's just going to be very bad if both decide they want to play with us a little. Then we're going to be in deep shit. Excuse my French. So, that will do it. You guys enjoy your day. Have a good one, and see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.